Now what I'm doing here is I'm making a big triangle of mail uh, rather than just linking all the way around and gradually adding to the, the size of the circle. I'm expanding in triangles and I do this for a number of reasons. Uh, the first is orientation. Uh, I know exactly where I am with these triangles. This one I'm working on, for instance, at the moment, is the center of the back of the coif, so I can orient myself, which is useful. Another is that triangles enable me to keep track of the expansions and contractions much more readily. So uh, if I want to, say, uh, expand by five links in so many rows, I can create a triangle, and within that triangle, do those expansions contractions and then once i've done all the expansions and contractions with various triangles i can just link all the triangles together um, and then i know exactly where i am but the third and most important reason is morale you see if i just link all the way around a great long edge it might take me an hour or two to do that and at the end of it i might not be able to see what i've done it looks no bigger than when i started but if I create a triangle, then at the end of my session, I can I can think to myself, well, good, I got somewhere. I, I did that triangle today. And uh, having done one triangle, I might think to myself, well, that didn't take very long. I'll just do another one on the other side, just, you know, to make it symmetrical, just even it up. And um, that way you do end up sort of egging yourself on to do a little bit more. And uh, each time you finish, you've got something that seems to have a bit of shape to it, a bit of sense to it, and you can pick it up and admire it, and uh, maybe even wear it. If you're making, for instance, a Bernie, you could do a dagged bottom edge, and then you've got a dagged shortish Bernie, and then you fill in the gaps in between all those dags, and now you've got a, a, a straight bottomed uh, Bernie, and then you can put more dags on and so forth. So it's, it's wearable in all the different stages. So, um, yes, it's good for morale, working in triangles. I've put it on white cards so you can get a, a better look at the pattern. So you can see that there are links leaning that way on one row and then the next row the links link that way and so forth. And uh, we've got a row here that's going that way of four and then I've done the first two and the last one linking there goes in like that. And with this way of doing things each one is only ever linked to two other ones which makes life very simple. If you decide, as some people do, to make your coif or Bernie or whatever it is you're making in several separate bits, you then have the horrible task of linking them together. And there's no way of doing that without at some point having to link a link to either three or even four other links, which is a swine to do. So I would uh, avoid that if you, you possibly can. So put it into the pattern. Oh, it's going to be awkward just because I got the camera running. There we go. And close it. Now these links are browned and you can see that the ends of them actually overlap slightly. That is quite deliberate. They were cut, not overlapping, then they were put into an oven and held at a fairly high temperature for a bit and that relaxed them a bit and then they all overlapped as a result. You then open one, close it again and it then, with a satisfying click, closes exactly on itself so there's no gap. Uh, there's no daylight to be seen uh, in these joins. And in fact, some of them are actually pushing into each other, into themselves slightly, which makes these links much smoother and more comfortable, less likely to snag on your clothing, um, and a bit stronger too. So there you go, one finished triangle. Now it's a 3D dome of a thing, so if I try to lie it flat on the table, it won't actually lie flat, it, it can't do. But uh, each row around the centre is uh, longer than the one closer into the centre because I've put in loads of expansions. How do you do expansions? Well, I'm going to show you. If I want the next row added onto the edge here to be longer than the row that you're looking at, what I'll do is I'll add a ring to a single link like this rather than, as is more normal, two. And then the next row added on after that will be done in the usual way. So now what we've got is a link here, which is as normal, linked to two, a link here, which is as normal, linked to two, but in between them, a link which is only linked to a single other link. So when I do the next row, this one links to two as normal, and this one links to two as normal, but this one here in the middle only links to three. So if I were to complete this row and this row, then there will be an expansion. 
So what do we do if we want to put in a contraction rather than an expansion? Well, it's exactly the same, but the other way around. So here I'm going to link not two as I would normally, but three links together. Three like that. Whoops. OK, so that's gathered it in slightly. I then finish the rest of the row as normal and then the next row as normal. And hey, presto, I've got myself a contraction. There's a contraction or an expansion in this pattern here, which I'll show you. So this link here is only linked to three other links, whereas this link here is linked to five other links. So this here is a contraction, if you're thinking in terms of that direction, but it's a expansion if you're thinking in terms of that direction. It's actually the same. Right, so get linking. Uh, have patience and let me know how you get on. Send in pictures of your finished items.